when you have a great infrastructure like uh, like WiMAX that delivers real-time uh, applications like VoIP, why not go ahead and deliver VoIP? It's it's almost table stakes, um, and you can't. I mean, broad, broadband access is is uh, is very necessary. But then, what do you do with it, and how do you drive network utilization? And and VoIP is one of those applications that drives that utilization. Okay, uh, so LTE and WiMAX are built on some of the same basic technologies, uh, both OFDM and MIMO. And in many ways, they're very similar in, in nature and, and similar in, in terms of the value proposition that they, d that they deliver. Uh, with that said, there are uh, companies that, that are, are certainly you know, invested in 3G in UMTS networks, and and LTE poses a, a more natural evolution. There's some level of backward compatibility, and hence I think in the end you're going to have both uh, existing, WiMAX and and LTE. Now, would an operator have both? I mean, I, 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 it, it's hard to say whether that's the case, but I think that they will certainly coexist in the world. So 3, 3G and WiMAX have different value propositions. Uh, 3G is built on voice. I mean, it, the, the legacy comes from 1G, 2G, voice type of uh, technologies. And yes, they're adding with they're adding uh, data to that. Um, however, uh, the uh, the capabilities of those, those 3G networks isn't quite where WiMAX goes. So th they have a different business model, and uh, these operators are getting a chance to deliver different services services because of WiMAX and they're coupling that with their 3G services. So I'm going to start it from the very top. I mean, bottom line that what we've seen with a lot of operators, especially new entrants and, and uh, smaller or regional type of operators, is that they want to see an end-to-end -end solution. It's not just the infrastructure. Uh, they want to see devices and applications and such. And I mentioned end-to-end -end solutions before. Uh, so from our perspective, we have to we have to think about CPEs. And what we're doing is, uh, is extending beyond the traditional work that we've done in terms of interoperability to actually start partnering with a number of uh, of uh, CPE manufacturers, so uh, you know, for starters, uh, we are reselling a Zycel as an example for connectivity type of devices, data cards, uh, indoor and outdoor type of CPEs, and that's for Wave One. And then for Wave Two, we're going to have Nortel branded devices as well that are uh, that are that are leveraging um, partnerships in uh, Taiwan as well to deliver Wave Two type of devices. Again, similar connectivity type of devices. So uh, we have a, a strong relationship with LG. We have a joint venture with LG Nortel that spans way beyond WiMAX. I mean, it, it, it uh, enterprise is a big play for us as well, uh, and certainly other parts of our business as well. You know, they, they have L, LGE has a, a device business and very much focused uh, focused on uh, the the Korean market at this point. Um, you know, who's to say what will be next uh, with Nortel and uh, and LG? Yeah.